Coming to Kickstarter this June, John Haynes at Death's Door, the man who rules the world, takes on the Greek god of death in this action-packed all-new John Haynes comic book. Get your copy of the standard and variant editions of John Haynes at Death's Door and lots of other great stretch goal rewards on Kickstarter this June. What constitutes a good black man? That's a question I'm trying to get an answer to as I take a critical examination of these black males called educated lames. Now, your quote-unquote good black man seems to be in two categories. One, where we have a black man who has an education and a job and believes that he is a good catch for women. And then there are men of good character who are trying to follow the Most High and are looking to be heads of households and stewards who are looking to do the work of the Most High. Now, many in the quote-unquote good black man category want believe that they are good because they've gone out here and gotten an education and they believe that because they have received this education and have a good job that pays all of their bills and allows them to live very well these men believe that they are good for most black women and oftentimes these males are extremely frustrated because they have met all the criteria of man and they believe that because they have met the criteria of man they believe they are entitled to a quality woman for a relationship now many of these guys they believe that because they have gone out here and followed the rules as related to man's standards for society that they should be rewarded with a relationship with a woman out here now this is where the quote-unquote good black man who has gone out here and received an education and a job starts to get frustrated with the whole state of the world now this guy becomes extremely frustrated because he was told by institutions like Madison Avenue and Hollywood that he, after getting his education at the university and getting his good paying job that covers all of his bills, he is supposed to have a woman in his life to meet the check marks on the box for having a successful life. That is what the so-called educated lane believes he is entitled to and this is what frustrates the so-called good black man who is what they call an educated lame that he cannot receive the woman he was told by madison avenue in hollywood he's supposed to have a relationship with now that is the first of the so-called good black men the other black man who is supposed to be good is the black man who is following the Most High and is out here looking to be a steward doing God's work. Now, this other good black man has a spiritual foundation, and because he has a spiritual foundation, he is looking to do the work of the Most High and as a steward and servant of the Most High, he's looking to do good by doing God's work, and he's looking to get glory from the Most High for doing whatever work that he needs to do on earth. Now, your good black man who has a spiritual foundation, he understands one thing about this so-called being good. He understands that he is not good at all because as, as someone who reads his Bible he understands that there is no good man on earth because all men are born in sin and because he understands that there are no good men on earth he understands the only way he can be quote-unquote good is if he surrenders his life to the Most High and he allows the spirit of the Messiah Jesus to be put within him he understands that he cannot be good on his own 
and he understands that the only way he can do good on this earth is if the spirit of the Messiah is in him, and as the spirit of the Messiah is in him, he directs him and guides him and has him doing the work of the Most High on this earth. So that man understands what the difference between being a quote-unquote good black man as related to the world and being a good black man as related to the spirit. Now, when you look at both of the good black men, they are two different concepts, and that's where a lot of people really get confused about the whole good black man. Now, the quote-unquote good black man who is in the world, he is out here frustrated and angry because there are no good black women, and he's looking, he's going on a wild goose chase looking for this so-called good black woman, but he's never going to find that good black woman because, one, he has no spiritual foundation in the Most High, and two, he doesn't understand that there is no good within him as related to the world because he's out here thinking that he is good as related to the world. Unfortunately, what he's looking for in a woman he will never find because there is no good black woman out here who is in the world because her spiritual foundation is just as corrupt as his and usually the so-called educated good black man oftentimes winds up disappointed because he's looking for something that doesn't exist not only in the women he's searching for but doesn't even exist within him because his spiritual he has no spiritual foundation and because he has no spiritual foundation he's out here looking for this so-called good woman but that good woman doesn't exist Whereas the man with a spiritual foundation in the Most High, he understands that there is no real good in him and that the only good out here is in the Most High, who when we surrender our life and give our life to him, then we, he, the Most High, Messiah, Jesus, puts his spirit within us and that's how we become good because he is the one who pays our sin debt in full, and once he pays our sin debt in full and we become stewards and heads, we can go out here and do his work. And once we start doing his work on the earth, this is where the Most High will give us a help me as a partner to work with us in a marriage under the living God. And as we're living in a marriage under the living God, both the man and the woman are both serving the Most High, and as they are serving the Most High, they are out here looking to do God's work, and they're looking to be in service to the Lord. So that's how, that's the difference between a man who is spiritually good and a man who is worldly good. And what we have with a lot of brothers out here is we've got a lot of guys who are worldly good they have met the standards of the world for being a good man unfortunately those standards are not going to be the ones that allow him to have a successful relationship or a marriage because his spiritual foundation is messed up and because many of these guys spiritual foundation is messed up this is what leads to them going out here looking for the good woman but not having any really good intentions because a lot of times these guys say that they're looking for a good woman unfortunately because they have no spiritual center what happens to some of them is they wind up going out here with their education and their job and with their education and their job they go out here looking to find this woman and then they wind up on the road of the whoremonger and as they get on the road of the whoremonger they're just looking to go out here and be, think that they have a right to get the the most so-called attractive women in social circles and that's where these guys wind up going they wind up going out here looking to get with the so-called best women and they believe they are entitled to the best women because they have a college degree 
and a job, and they believe that because they have this college degree and this job, they are entitled to have a relationship with women. Unfortunately, that's not how relationships work, and that's how these guys wind up becoming extremely disappointed because a lot of these guys, they go out here believing, I've got a degree, I've got a job, I've got a right to the best women, and they wind up disappointed when those women don't see these credentials that they have accrued in the world as having value and then they get upset because they don't they can't get the women that they want so they're angry because they thought oh men promised me a woman if i went out here and got this job and this education but that's the wrong reasons for getting a degree and a job in the first place because if if you want a wife you're going to first understand the word of God and you're going to understand your role as a man first and a man who understands his role as a man first understands he is not entitled to any woman in this world he is provided a woman by the Most High to be a wife so these guys are out here they want to have a woman as a girlfriend they want to have a woman as a sex partner they want to have an, a woman on their arm as an attachment to get social currency with other guys but because they have no foundation in christ they have no foundation in the most high what happens to these guys is they just wind up having a, a lot of frustration because they can't have a woman as a possession to be able to check off the box as related to success under the world standard. Whereas a God-centered man understands that if he wants to have a relationship with a woman, he is looking for a woman to be his wife. And he only wants the woman that God wants to put him with and or the women he that got if you're a polygynist you want the woman who you can get put with but you want the woman that god is going to put you with because that woman will be your help meet that woman will be your support that woman will be your partner and that woman will be suited to helping you do god's work on earth that's the woman that the god-centered man wants he wants a relationship with the woman that the Most High is going to provide for him, and he's going to only try to look for those women who meet the standards of the Most High. So his first standard is that this woman must be a believer of the Most High, a servant of the Most High, and ready to serve him and help him do God's work on earth. That's what a man who is following the Most High is looking for the man the good man who is really out here with the spiritual foundation and that good man understands that he cannot be good by himself he needs the most high to be able to change him by putting the spirit of the messiah in him so that he can go out here and be suited and changed to do his work so you have them, a lot of guys out here, they want to be successful by the world standard, but the true success standard is the standard of the living God, and the standard of the living God clearly states that no man is good, and the only person who is good is Christ. So the only way we can be good in any way, shape, or form is if Christ is in us. So you have guys out here, they're thinking, I'm a good man. But again, you have Jesus himself who said that no man is good because he has looked down in the Old Testament and said that there was none seeking him. And he also stated that, there, that no man is good in the New Testament. We have the Son of God who has clearly stated that no man is good because he had already seen it during the days of the Old Testament. And he also knows every man has been born in sin, and no man can be good without the Messiah bringing his goodness and righteousness in men. Because our righteousness is like a filthy rag, and that's something that the good black man doesn't understand. The 
good black man thinks that he is good based on his works alone, but his works alone are not good enough for the standard of the Most High. No, in order to be good, you have to be a follower of the Most High, and when you surrender your life to the Most High, you let His Spirit comes in you, and once His Spirit comes in you, then you are changed and you can meet the standards for good. And that's what many of the good black men don't understand, and that's why they are so frustrated out here, thinking, oh, I'm looking for a good woman, but there are no good women if they don't have the spirit of the Messiah in them, if they are not followers of the Most High. These are not good women because they are born in sin, just like he is, and he's upset that he can't find good women, but he can't see the bad that's in him, and because he can't see the bad that's in him, that's one of the problems with the so-called good black man. He's thinking his education and his degrees make him good, but no, it is the spirit of the Most High that makes us good because he is the good that's within us, and that is something many of the good black men don't really understand. They're, they're sitting there with their degrees and their education and their job thinking, oh, because I meet the standards of the world, I can be this good provider, I can be this good-looking guy, I'm owed anything. Well, you're owed nothing under the standards of the Most High, because you, your sin, righteousness is like a filthy rag, your sin is on you, and until you acknowledge your sin, you, you're sitting there thinking that you're good, but you're still spiritually evil, whereas the man who follows the Most High already understands he was born in sin, he understands that he, he cannot do anything about his sin except surrender to the Most High Son, Jesus, and once he surrenders to the Most High Son, he will go out here and pay his sin debt in full, and he will change him spiritually, and then he can start walking down the road with the Messiah, and that will put him on a road towards true righteousness. And when he's walking down that road to righteousness, that's when he becomes a truly a man of God, who follows God, and a man who follows God is good to be a husband and he is humble enough to understand that he is not owed any woman no he is given if he go a woman if he is out here doing god's work on earth and seeking out the most highs and seeking out a relationship with the most high that's where most of the men who follow the most high they understand look I'm not owed anything. In fact, I don't really deserve anything except the damnation in hell unless I surrender my life to the Lord. And when I surrender my life to the Lord, then he will give me as he sees fit and he will give me blessings to do his work on earth. And if he sees fit, he will provide me with a wife and that wife will be cleansed because she is under a marriage under the living God and under that marriage she is pure and clean. The man who is in the world with the education and the job, he doesn't have a righteous wife and what happens is is that he winds up miserable because he's chasing a standard of the world and under that standard of the world everything is constantly changing and everything is constantly being under the control of your corporate America, your Madison Avenue, and your Hollywood. And he's sitting there looking for, looking at the flaws in the bad black women, but he cannot see the bad in himself. It's like he's looking at the mot in the eye of the black woman, but he can't see the plank in his own eye. And you have this so-called good black man thinking that he's good, but there's not much good within him. And the thing is, his spiritual foundation is a mess. And until he takes a minute to take a look at himself and realize that 
he is not following the living God. He's going to wind up spiritually lost because he's trying to go out here and do things through works instead of faith. Now, the Apostle Paul said faith without works is dead. And in order to go out here and be a man who follows God, you have to start putting in work on building your spiritual foundation. And many young men don't really understand how what it is to build a spiritual foundation because they think they can go out here and do all of this work to be good, but the work you need to do is you need to start reading your Bible, surrender your life to the Most High, and let Him do the work as you're doing His work on earth. Because as He's doing His work, on your life he is transforming you to become more like him and as you become more like him you start to grow in a relationship with God and you learn how to be a man who is good to do his work on earth so that's the difference between a good black man who is following the Most High and a good black man by the world standard and the good black man that you need to be looking for, if you're a black woman, is the man who is following the Most High and is a servant of the Most High because that is a man who is work, who has Jesus within him and is looking to do God's work and is looking for a partner who is looking to work with him. Now, the guy who's in the world, yes, he is good because he has met all of these standards of the world, but he's oftentimes feeling incomplete because there's no spiritual foundation within him. And because there is no spiritual foundation within him, he's out here looking for this good woman. And unfortunately, on that road to looking for that good woman, all he runs into is the bad black woman because he's just finding the mirror image of himself because he has not come to a place where his spiritual foundation has formed and he has not come to a place where he has surrendered to them his life to the most high and because he hasn't surrendered his life to the most high what happens to many of these guys is they wind up looking for this so-called good woman on the road of the whoremonger and that's where the good black man winds up on the road to becoming a man caught up in sin and he, as he's on the road of the whoremonger, he winds up on the road to becoming spiritually lost. So this so-called good black man really isn't good because he has not acknowledged the fact that he is a sinner, he is born in sin, and he needs the Most High in order to start heading down a road to a relationship with him where he can become a righteous man. So when I look at this whole situation with the quote-unquote, good black men who are complaining about how bad their lives are and how they can't find quality women. Well, the reason why you can't find quality women is because you do not have the qualities of the Most High and you're not learning how to become more like the Most High Son, the Messiah. And the only way you can do that is if you give your life to the Most High and His Son, the Messiah, that's when you will start to really start to find the so-called good woman or the quality woman that you say that you're looking for. The only way to find a quality woman is to follow the Most High because he wants to give men a wife, he wants men to have families under him, and he wants you to be under him because under his covering is where you will find spiritual peace and spiritual satisfaction and you won't find that in the world all you're going to do is wind up in a vicious circle where you're in where the same we're dealing with the same kinds of women over and over again and you're out here talking about oh i've got a degree i've got a job i why can't i get women well the man who follows the most high isn't looking to just get women He's looking for a wife, and he's looking to have a family and build a family under the Most High. So that's what 
a man of God is looking for and guys have to start working on their spiritual foundation because yes your education and your and your job are nice to have but if you want to really grow in the most as related to life and you want to get the abundant life that Jesus wants us all to have you have to start working on developing your spiritual foundation and you have to start working on having your relationship with the Most High so that he can guide you to the wife that he wants you to have. Now, if you want to see me make more Men's Issues videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, or my Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. And if you want to pick up some of my Men's Issues books, like The Man Crisis, Stop Simpin', Stop Simpin' in Cyberspace, Stop Simpin' in the Workplace, the Misadventures of Captain Savum and Manginas, you can find all those books on Amazon.com. In paperback and Kindle format, you can also find them on Smashwords, the iBook Store, and Google Play. And if you want to check out my upcoming comic, John Haynes at Death Store, it will be available on Kickstarter on June 22nd. So if you want to put in a pledge for John Haynes at Death Store, you may do so on June 22nd, and I'm hoping everybody comes out and puts in a pledge because I really want to get this comic funded, and I want to bring more comics to you. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle, Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Learn how to avoid predatory females like Instagram models and e-girls in their virtual con games with Stop Simping in Cyberspace. Get your copy of Stop Simping in Cyberspace in paperback and Kindle today.